Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we added a user list which uh, is retrieved from firebase.list which uh, returns an object of type angular fire list. Now we can now essentially create methods that would uh, interact with firebase and give us the things that we want or do the things that we want. So let's first talk about uh, reading the objects from firebase. So I'll create a method here named get users from Firebase and this is simply going to return this dot um, user list like so. The second method that we're going to talk about is add a user to Firebase and this is going to accept a user object which is going to be of type i user and we can now use the user list and we can use a method named push on it which accepts data so we can pass it a user and it will add that data to or add that user to this list which essentially references the users collection we can also update the data or update a user so update a user on firebase here we are going to get a user object which is going to be of type i user and i can simply uh, use a user lists update method and pass it now this requires two things from me the first one is going to be a reference or data snapshot or just a string and the second one is going to be data now the reference data snapshot or a string is going to be a unique identifier for uh, that particular document in firebase uh, what i mean by that is the list method that we saw returns some uh, data to us. Now, whenever we want to basically uh, read a new record, we can use the update method and Angular Fire uh, can be called uh, or an update method on the Angular Fire list can be called. Now, this accepts two arguments. The first one is going to be a key and this key acts as a unique identifier for a record inside our collection and the second argument is going to be the object now just bear for uh, just bear with me and uh, let's say we have a key here we'll see what this key is in real but let's just assume that we have a key on the user object like so all right so we have a key and now uh, this user is going to be of type i user so uh, we have already added the key to the user into the i user interface and uh, now we are simply using it like this finally we also have a we can also have a delete a user from firebase a method of this sort and this is going to take a key which would be of type string and again this key will essentially act as a unique identifier for a particular record in firebase and we are simply going to pass it the key but instead of update we are going to call a method named remove like so let's save this now uh, now that we are done with a user service from the next video onwards we are going to integrate these methods onto our component that we have already created which is going to be the new user component. So I'll see you guys in the next video.